We got a 2001 Dodge 3500 with a broken seatbelt. And it won't open, it won't pull, and we went through the fuse on the bottom, and so we're going to completely bypass the fuse and fix the problem. Step one of fixing the seatbelt, we have to take off the cover. Cover. In order to get to the seat cover, you have to take this little handle off and a couple screws that are in this little panel. Sit tight when you're going. You gotta rip off this little seat belt bolt in order to get that bottom of that seat belt off. If there's a handle in the back of your truck, you gotta take it off. You just pop these little pieces out on both sides. And there should be a star bit in there. Just pop the pieces off the bottom and pull the cloth up. You only got to pull the back over because there's clips up here. We got two regular Phillips screws you got to take out and these two star bits and the seatbelt pieces in here. As you can see, we've taken these bolts out back here, and this is just going to slide up and over. And this pops out. Here's your little fuse piece on the bottom. You'll Take a screwdriver, pop this little red piece off, then snap off these little pieces here, one on this side, one on the other. Take those flathead, pop that open. Here's the other one. There's little clippies right here and right here. We literally had to break off with a flathead screwdriver and a pair of pliers. These parts clip on both sides. Just pop them off with a screwdriver. You pull this out and you have this little diode. Thingy my bob, the electric part of the seatbelt. All you're going to do is completely remove this, and that'll cure your issue for any future. Slides right off, no big deal. And snap the other one off. Or pull it off. Now that we popped it off, the seatbelt's free to move. And it goes back too. And if it jerks real quick, it still locks. So now we're gonna start to reassemble the seatbelt. All we had to do was take off that little piece. Give it a good bump. Make sure those clips clip back in there. If not, it's no big deal. It's not like you're going to use it again. Slide this in. Line your holes back up. Put your plastic piece back on it. Maybe. Put your screws back in. Your two stars and the regular Phillips. These screws are back in place. And now we're ready to... Put the seat cover on. Putting the seat cover back on. It's a lot harder than it looks. You gotta get that top piece to slide over the top. Put the smaller part of the seat. Alright, we're gonna put our little plastic piece back in the hole. It just snaps in. And you gotta make sure you tuck your seat pieces back down into the seat. And reconnect them where they connect at the back. But we're not going to do that for this video. Okay, no we're not. You're going to bring down this little hoop. Put it on here. And put your bolt on. Or your nut, I should say. Oh. 
pouch. <laughs> you got the... Where's the ratchet? You gotta use your fingers. Fingers? Oh, the seatbelt works. And you won't get a ticket. And it still locks up if it needs to. You gotta put your face plate back on. Put your screws in. Put your handle back on. On a final note, seatbelt works. All we had to do was take the seat covers off by the bottom. Make sure you pull the screws on this thing. You just pop these little pieces out with a pocket knife. Take off your panel and your handle. And then in here there's that bolt that you have to undo. Pull the seat completely up. Pop this piece out. And then fix everything, and then just put it all together just like you ripped it open.